Hey friends, so I just bought a PCIe NVMe M2 SSD from Kingston. The capacity is 250 gigs. The model is A2000 NVMe. So this will boost my PC's speed and performance. It will also boost three times the performance comparing it with my older Samsung Evo SSD because of its read-write performances and newer 3D NAND technology. Let's unbox it. The Kingston A2000 is 3rd gen X2 which means it can perform read writes up to 2 GB per second. Form factor for this PCIe NVMe is 2280. The M.2 connector on Gigabyte H510M motherboard supports type 2260-2280-22110 SATA and PCIe 3.0 X4 and X2 So let's install it First locate the M.2 on your Gigabyte motherboard Remove the hook from mounting hole Install the NVMe at an angle into M.2 socket. Press it down and then push the hook securely into mounting hole. Once the NVMe is installed on your motherboard, we will first test the performance of Kingston A2000 PCIe NVMe using as a secondary drive. To do that, head to computer management and then you need to initialize your disk in GPT partition table. After initializing partition table, you can see the unallocated space. Now just create simple volume and create partition and assign drive letter to it and that's it Kingston NVMe is ready to be used and benchmark using AS SSD we will select our NVMe and then click on start to start performance test of Kingston A2000 PCIe NVMe The score as a secondary drive for A2000 is 1968. Right now there is no Windows 10 on it. Now we will benchmark our primary SSD which is Samsung Evo and see if it's still good enough to boot Windows 10. The score on Samsung Evo is 899 which is pretty low so after installing windows 10 on our new kingston pcie nvme as a primary disk we got more better performance scores Comparing the boot speeds from Task Manager, the Samsung Evo 840 SSD gave score of 7.2 while our new Kingston A2000 PCIe 250GB gave 5.4 which is very good score comparing it with Samsung SSD. So if you want to boost speed and performance of your gaming PC, I would recommend installing Windows on your PCIe NVMe and install this NVMe if your motherboard supports it. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.